welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be back on the Peterbilt project. We're gonna jump right in. Only got two things in the beginning here. Number one is uh, not this upcoming weekend, November 1st through 3rd is our next event. It is the King of the Street Challenge. It's kind of like uh, the UCC qualifiers, uh, the Diesel Power Challenge. It is a street truck challenge uh, that we're gonna be competing in with the 05. Uh, I know we keep saying this is the last thing we're gonna be doing with this thing, but this is, I mean, I'm hoping that this is the last thing, I'm trying to get into the good lighting here. Anyway, November 1st through 3rd, it's a Friday, Saturday Sunday event uh, there's gonna be spectator stuff that you guys can do you guys I believe can drag race sled pull your truck um, but there is a challenge going on with a couple other I would say like 20 other trucks which we are gonna be doing drag racing sled pulling dirt drags dyno uh, it's kind of all of those in a point system a street drive uh, which we're gonna be competing in so we're gonna document that whole thing but come out it's gonna be great Allie and Reagan are gonna be here as well we're gonna have all the wrench work stuff we're gonna be all set up in the pits for you guys to come hang out so put that on your calendar make sure you guys come out second of all we are even wearing our diesel I didn't even plan that we're wearing our diesel army uh, t-shirt Artie our good friend Artie from diesel army uh, just wrote a article about the first gen when we were at Rudy's I get tons of questions about the first gen all of the time all of the time so go read that article i will have it be the first link in the description go check it out probably answers 90 percent of all of your questions it goes over engine stuff the story of the truck what i think is cool is the story of the truck like where it came from if you guys have not followed along that'll kind of catch you guys up it's a great article it's a good read very short go do me a favor go support uh Artie and the diesel army and go check that article out so other than that we have been working on the Peterbilt here the last couple nights. Just really, I'm not trying to kill you guys. Our main focus is to get this top off and it is a time consuming job, that is for sure. So let me climb up here without falling and cracking my skull open. So uh, what we've been working on is getting every single little huck bolt. Come on, focus there, focus. So we've been working on getting the huck bolts out of the top here. We've kind of started here, worked our way around, got about halfway here. Uh, the way we're doing this, and again, if we weren't really too concerned about saving this top, which that's the whole point, we're trying to save this top for uh, the next guy who needs it. Um, he's kind of waiting for us to take it off, but we're actually kind of pre-drilling these in a small hole and then drilling them from the outside. Normally we could take like a grinder or something and just kind of get rid of them if we weren't worried about taking this top off, which it does seem to be coming out pretty decently well. Uh, and then on the inside here, as you guys, I might have showed you guys before, all of the ones that were inside here, why is this not focusing? new camera and and probably poor lighting but there we go you guys can see a lot of these were bolted we've kind of already sped through some of that so i'm just catching you guys up so what we're going to start on tonight is getting the rest of the ones off the rear done and then over here on this side we still have to take off this interior piece we got to drill this stuff out so uh definitely quite a bit of work and that's not even uh including all the stuff that we got to do in the front here. There are hooks in the front, some bolts, but a lot of hook bolts as well in the front. But all the interior pieces are down and we're just gonna keep keep moving along. This, uh, this top has been fighting us, but tonight we're gonna knock it out.
Alrighty guys, day, I don't know, four or five, whatever you wanna call it, we are, uh, we are burning through some drill bits, that is for sure, but we are, man, I don't, I don't even know, like 75, 80% done uh, with this top. This top is just, uh, the little time that I have to work on it is kicking my butt, but I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see, but we have all the way from here all the way down and around. Uh, we have everything on this side complete. I think the last thing you guys saw was taking the uh, visor off. Uh, there are uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so about 16 left in the front, and then we got a couple here uh, along the side here, but I am hoping tonight is the night we finally make this thing a convertible. I am ready to finally, and, and you know it's funny, after all of this, I'm not even sure that this top might not crack. Maybe I'm wasting my time trying to uh, save this for the next guy, but I figured it was worth a shot. I really didn't want to make a huge mess. Uh, so we're doing it this way. We're burning up a lot of drill bits. Maybe we're spending too much time, but hey, uh, it is working. We are getting it done, but uh, yeah, who knows? At the end, this might just all crack, fall apart, and whatever else. So who knows? We're, uh, we're just trying to make progress. Uh, that's the important thing, but we're just going to jump right back into it. Um, we do have to take these, uh, this support piece uh, because there are some other ones back here that are uh, still bolted, but that is, that is where we're at. We're going to jump down here. First, uh, first order of business tonight. We're gonna we're gonna need one of these. By the way, guys. By the way, uh, I've had a lot of people ask. We do have a new PO box. The new PO box is down in the description uh, for our new home in Kentucky. So if you guys want to send me anything, fan mail, hate mail, you know the deal. The PO box is down in the description. But the visor is off. Can kind of see the visor just hanging out over here. I don't know, I'll probably try and get rid of this thing. If anybody anybody wants to come give me a couple doll hairs for it, whatever you want. But, all right, let's make some progress. bracket down that bracket is out of the way you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about with this thing being bolted the nice part is some of these bolts are coming right out uh, some of the ones right here uh, they're kind of not so the ones that are coming out nice just as simple as uh, kind of unbolting them uh, you guys can kind of see exactly what they are hopefully you can uh, they're basically painted really small carriage bolts uh, that they use to kind of put this thing together with. And that is possibly probably what we are going to do going back together is use something similar to this and bolt it, bolt it completely together um, because the huck gun, I believe, is kind of a pain to get into some of these places. I'm not really sure about that, but if good buddy Mark says it's okay, I'm sure it's fine because good buddy Mark knows a lot more than I. So just as easy as that, bada bing, bada boom. If, if only they were all bolted, that would make things a million times easier. But we're getting it done. done it we have finally gotten all of the bolts slash hook bolts out of this top 
boy oh boy is it a good feeling. Now, I didn't crack anything, some of the holes are not perfect, but nothing a little fiberglass cannot fix, seeing that this is a fiberglass top. So now what we have the, uh, the challenge of is to try and get this top off without cracking it. So that's what we are going to do. Uh, I actually already got it loosed, loose on this one side and around the back. So I'm hoping that by just, you know, pushing, prying little by little, trying to take a razor blade, try and cut some of the uh, silicone a lot of times because these things just kind of sit on top. A lot of people will use like a gasket uh, around a lot of this. Uh, so the seam is kind of, kind of tight. So seam sealer can be kind of challenging, but uh, from what I kind of feel right here, I think we'll be able to get it. So hopefully here, not too long, we will be able to call this a convertible. The top is finally off. Fellas, I bet you probably say that every night. Oh, got him. Never mind. Uh, anyway, the top is off finally. Uh, man, me and this thing have been battling the last couple nights uh, just after work, just trying to, trying to get this thing done uh, so we can finally cross that off the list. Uh, we will still have to uh, change this top skeleton piece just because up here, uh, the flat top kind of only really comes like up to here. Uh, it's a good couple inches shorter uh, than this. So what we'll end up doing, like I mentioned, is kind of cutting this steel ring right in between here, kind of sectioning in our new ring that will have a much tighter radius uh, for the lower top up here. Uh, all of the bolts that are kind of holding this in, uh, we can actually get to really, really easily. So uh, that shouldn't be too bad changing uh, this top section out. Uh, really, who man, I am, I'm super happy this is, this is finally, it's getting me, getting me pumped, getting me excited. This was kind of kicking my butt. So, you know, just never give up, keep, keep picking away at it. Hopefully the guy comes for the top and the sleeper, which who knows, you know how people are, but that is going to wrap up this video. Convertible Peterbilt checked off the list. We're gonna take a break for a little bit from the Peterbilt um, and actually hop on the 05 to get ready for King of the Street. Uh, our good guys at Nitrous Express have sent us a huge package uh, that we gotta get mounted up in this. So we're gonna be putting Nitrous on the 05. So make sure you guys plan on coming out to King of the Street. It is going to be an awesome event. Uh, we've got wheels and tires to get ready on here because we're gonna be sled pulling, dirt dragging, 
Uh, we got a lot of kind of cleanup, drive shaft loops, a lot of safety stuff that we got to put on this thing. Um, so we're going to be jumping on this in the next couple days. So look forward to that video. Uh, but that's going to do it, guys. Hit the like button before you leave. Subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you guys in the next one.